Hey, we are live, baby. What is going on? I'm just gonna let a couple people see if we can get someone to join in here. But yeah, we just uh, I was gonna go over and do a live stream today as I had a couple people go ahead and ask me about how my camping situation was uh, situated inside of the Forerunner. So I thought maybe we could just go and do a little live stream and thought maybe maybe that would be a little bit easier for us. Oh, and of course, my truck's locked. That's great. Um, so yeah, uh, this is my 1998 Toyota 4Runner. Uh, it's got a 3.4 liter in it, a V6. It uh, has uh, like over 300,000 kilometers on it, which is uh, sweet, still going strong. But I had some people go ahead and ask me what I had built and used for a sleeping platform on my truck. So let me just grab my keys here. Keys are not here, okay. Go grab my keys. Mm. Where are my keys? Have you seen my keys? Uh, no, but do you, have you seen where you put that eyeliner in mine? We're live. Hi. Let me find my keys, boys. Do you know where Your you eyeliner? Yeah. Uh... No, I don't really remember where I put it, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay. Fuck, where's my keys? I still can't find my keys. Where are my keys, people? I don't know where I put them. I can't find them. I can't find my keys. I can never find my gosh. Darn. You got him? Or those my BMW keys? Hey, she got them. Thank you. All right, back to it, boys. <clears throat> what can I do for you? Nothing? No, I'm just trying to move. Word. Okay. Hello. <laughs> I hear you. All right, back to it, boys. So let's go over and show you what I'm talking about. So ignore the, uh, ignore this stuff. This is not normally how I would sleep in the truck. I was just uh, last minute trying to get something comfy to lay on. So I could just relax in the sun. Since this is what I can do in my truck, I just uh, can pretty much, I'll pull up to like any beach or anything you want. And you can take, this rear window rolls down and you can pretty much have a bed in the back of your truck here. So that's pretty cool. Um, but I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys. This here, all of this plywood is normally what makes up the bed in the back of my truck. So I thought what I could do here is I'm gonna go over, set up my camera inside of my truck and uh, I'm gonna quickly just set up the bed and show you everything that normally I would keep in my truck when we go for like an overnight camping like we just did in our 12 day camp trip. So let me just set up my camera here and I'll get it going.
So normally I'd take this bad boy, grab this shit, and just throw it out of the way for a sec. So now I'm gonna just start by grabbing this piece of plywood. Let's go ahead and we'll slide it in, right? And it just slides in this rubber mat that I have here that protects pretty much the carpet of my truck so it doesn't get all dirty or gross. And no, this isn't just held in with duct tape. There is screws running down the boards on each one of these. It's just so uh, they could have a bit of movement in them without the screws just ripping out. So the duct tape really is just there to give a little extra support. But yeah, so we slide this one on. Next up. And we have our second piece of plywood, which is going to come in. Go up, go sideways, down, all the way to the back of the truck. It's just cut out in each of these corners so it fits perfectly nice and tight and doesn't want to slide out of the truck. So there's that one. Now this is where things start to get cool. This way. Same thing, we're gonna go start sliding it in sideways. Pick it up, turn, drop. We're gonna go ahead and shove this bad boy all the way in. And there you go, now I've got a rear platform and then uh, usually I'll have some sleeping supplies in here as well. And then when I'm ready to go ahead and sleep, I just grab this one platform and boom. Then I got the whole entire truck. It's a bed. So yeah, this is how I camp. And I usually just keep a, like a sleeping bag rolled up here and I tie it to the headrest that you guys are in that I'm filming from and that'll keep everything tucked up and then I can usually fit you know a ice pack like a cooler one cooler for your drinks one cooler for all your food um and then I'll usually stick you know buns and accessories and whatnot also in the back of my truck so that is the bed portion of it which is kind of cool right So that's what it looks like. Just kind of a fold out platform. And then when you're ready, you just come in through the side door and grab it and just push it and you flip it back and then you get your cargo room. You can pull your seat back up. Normally there is a seat there, but I just took it out so I could have extra storage room for when we did our big trip there across BC. And then uh, I'll take you guys into the back of my truck now. So what I have here always that are running with me. I'll always have this Eliminator Motor Master power box. So long story short, if you uh, get stuck, your truck dies, battery dies, you need a jump start, this will jump start your truck. And uh, it's good for any gasoline engine. So that's sweet, it'll jump start my truck, no problem. And then it also has uh, sockets so you can plug in, say, whatever you want that needs to be plugged in. And then I've also got a USB charger. And uh, yeah, you just press the button and it'll show you how charged it is. And it charges off of this rear cigarette lighter in the back of the truck. So it's every single time you drive the truck, it gets recharged and it's always fully juiced up and ready to rock and roll. So that's always awesome and handy to have on deck always, because you never know when you're gonna need a jump start or when you need to jump someone else for anything. It's good for anything you need. Charge batteries, jump your truck, anything you need. 
it's awesome it's always handy to have and i've always got a set of jumper cables too in case that dies for whatever reason you never know when you need a jump or you can jump someone it's always handy to have and then next up we have i'm always carrying a tarp and rope always you never know when it's going to start raining or you want sun coverage or anything so that usually would just be stuffed up in there and we got a couple different ropes different lengths different thicknesses depending on what you need what you're trying to do I'm gonna shove those up in there for now anyways we've got extra power steering fluid even though these trucks take ATF for power steering what's really nice about the bed is that you can always keep your you can keep your subwoofer it folds over and sits on top of a subwoofer so I can keep my base Hello and welcome to the live stream, guys. And then next up, I got uh, just showing here some of the things I always keep in my truck. I'm always keeping plates, dish soap, stuff to keep truck and dishes clean. Got utensils and whatnot. It's always nice to have as well. Spice rack, plastic baggies, oils. And these are all things I'm always carrying in my truck. Salt, pepper, a little bit of bug spray, mosquito, uh, smoke things, and uh, some cling wrap because you never know you need to wrap some stuff up. Always carrying an extra thing of oil extra ATF, a couple of propane tanks. Always got the trusty, rusty Coleman stove because that's a must have. You never know when you want to pull out, make some bacon on the side of the road or whatever. Got your toolkit, always have your toolkit. Got a fishing rod because we're always fishing, always getting out there, slaying those trout. You know, we out there, we slaying the trout. That's what we do. We fish, we slay them. Got a tent because sometimes you never know. Say it's 40 degrees outside and you just cannot sleep in the back of the truck. Well, you just pop up this little two-man tent, cost me 20 bucks, and boom, you got a tent. Always, always carry that. You never know when you need it. Next up is we always have a pair of camping chairs. They slide right in the back. Always have them. You just pull up to a lake, boom. You can have somewhere to sleep like that. Nothing, no problem. Next thing we always keep is always have a inflatable mattress because you never really want to go a floating on the water because you can because why not uh b if you want to sleep on it you could lay it out in the sun blow it up and you can just sit out and relax in the sun on a nice comfy cushion and then these things are honestly one of the best things and best investments i've made so far they're a coleman shower bag so literally you'll just fill it up with water from a river or a lake or wherever you're going and uh so you just take it once it's full you'll just sit it out in the sun and uh they're solar bags so as they're exposed to sun i don't know if you really read that but these bags get plenty hot so you can have a shower anytime and anywhere you go it's really convenient and really handy so you can always stay clean which is nice when you're camping because most of the time you're always fucking grimy especially when you're working on those pigs but yeah that's usually what we're always carrying in the truck And a couple other gizmos that I always have. We always have an emergency pullover bag. You never know when you're going to get stuck. And you could use... Well, let's open it up and I'll show you what you got. So what we have here, this is a compressor kit. So it goes on to this little green box I have down here. Which is, once again, always being powered through a couple of USBs that are plugged into it. And... Uh, at the flick of a switch, I have an air compressor on board in my truck. This is about 90 bucks online. It's not anything fancy, but you know, if you got a flat tire on the trail, you can always pump it back up, which is nice. It comes with a couple of lights in it as well. And uh, yeah, it's also got USB ports to charge your phones or whatever, just like the other battery pack. So I have two always, because you never know when you're gonna need them. Got a 9,000 pound toaster app in here as well. Always, if you need to get someone to pull got two sets of axes always got my little tiny mini hatchet here which is old trusty trusty rusty as well and then i got the brand new chopping axe which my girlfriend bought me for my birthday which is awesome we also have the weather tech floor mats in the front rear and uh, cargo area just to keep everything really just nice and clean in here so that's super handy to always have sunroof in here also which is super nice to always have in here extra sun visor reflectors for whenever you park and you know it's 40 degrees out and you want to be able to sleep in the truck you throw up some sun visors and it deflects the heat which is really nice we've got our own custom rear bumper here that was it's just uh, inch and quarter tubing and then we took a jeep trailer hitch 
and uh, Larry just cut it off and it was almost pretty much the right length and welded it in and that fit right in so that was super cool custom bumper here and uh, it's in the middle almost done getting a tire rack or a swing out tire being built up for it so just got the last pieces to find that can go through the holes so I can clamp the swing out into it so that's uh that's what's left there uh we've gone over we painted the truck uh, as you can see the whole bottom portion of the truck has been painted black and also went over and painted the whole undercarriage of the truck just to really give it that kind of nice fresh fresh e looking frame again you know it's a 20 year old truck but you know at least the frame can look decently clean uh, as well as we have aftermarket Bilstein and Old Man Emu shocks and coils. If I can find the coil. Yonder, some Bilsteins. We have the 430 gearing uh, with a e-locker rear differential and an open front differential. We are running some 33-inch Cooper ST all-terrain. Actually, sorry, they're not all-terrain. I should say they're, they're called street treads, but they're definitely not no street tread. And these tires work amazing off-road. Absolutely love them. Then we've got, as well, a custom front bumper that's made out of inch and a quarter tubing as well uh, with an inch and a quarter, I believe, steel plate that we used to make up the winch mount, which, once again, is all custom. And then we have a Tacoma skid plate custom mounted onto the front of the truck. And then I also have Bilstein coils and Old Man Emu shocks, brand new OEM lower ball joints, uh, all new rear bushings and all the control arms. Then up front for winch, we have a Smitty built 9,500 pound winch with steel cable. Unfortunately, I couldn't afford the synthetics, so we have steel, but that's all right. I still like it. It's, uh, it's gonna be there to save me when I need it. So that's all that matters really. And then I guess really that's about the end of the things I have in my camping rig. Besides, I always have my winch ready to rock and roll. Just anytime I need it, I can let it go or let it in. Light bar as well. Like I said, it's got the rear diff lock, which is awesome. Then I've got my handy dandy fast charge, quick charger. So it's a wireless charging pad for your cell phone, but also holds it while you're driving, which is super handy. Then I've got my little handy dandy radio mig jigger. Since I don't have an auxiliary port, this just transmits a radio frequency and plugs into a auxiliary cord so you can still listen to music i got a couple extra charge ports i got a volt reader here to tell me what my volts are and uh really yeah that's that's about it for my camping rig it's been super handy it's done super well on our 12 day road trip it took us there and back we did about 4,000 kilometers so i'm pretty hyped on that for making us there and back so yeah that's my 1998 forerunner I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys for watching the live stream and I hope to catch you in tomorrow. Sorry, Monday's video. We should have day three of our trip uploaded and uh, yeah, I thank you guys for watching the live stream and I can't wait to see you guys on Monday. So enjoy that. Make sure you guys uh, stay tuned to watch the video. Subscribe, like, comment, peace. You guys know what's up.